Eventually, you will have a proper true first person uh, game animation sample like this. Are you tired from problems using true first person game animation sample in 5.5? .5? Problems like this, rotation, crouching, collision, shit like this when you parkour and you can look to your back. Most of the humans out there do have these things and leave you with these problems. But today, um, little gremlin will help you fix all these problems and eventually you can rotate fast you don't see your back you can jump and rotate and you can crouch and there is no problem with the camera uh, you can go to a wall there is a collision is very good and you can parkour and you can move your camera so we can see your back just like in proper first person games look i'm moving my camera i'm jumping i can't move it and now i can move it back again so yeah Let's get started. First of all, open game animation sample project. You can find it on Fab. Open it, go to blueprints, and now you need to migrate this stuff. Select migrate. Okay, select your project and content folder. Select, and it will start migrating files. Okay, now open the project where we migrated our files and enable missing plugin. And we'll need to add new plugins to make it work. We need motion trajectory. Yes, post search. Chooser, warping, and select motion and animation warping, and animation locomotion library. Click restart now. Okay, for test I added this level prototype scoops, which we can find here. Level prototyping, traversable. We can rotate, expand it, just for the tests. All right, and by the default, all settings, choose. Game mode sandbox. Game mode sandbox. And our character, sandbox character. Let's try it. We have this by default. And now we'll make it first person. We can also change character to, for example, template made a human. Change it here. Now you can play with made a human. And change it back later to your custom character. For example, made a human or other character. All right, let's do this. Open blueprints, CVP sandbox character. Let's drag it here. Here we need to find bulk input. Select character input state and make it walk and aim. It's the same here as well. Now let's drag this stuff here. Don't ask too many questions, just repeat after me. Copy, print, select this and this, copy, here's the branch. Also turn off this sprint input by the default. And right now we will have aim by default when our character is rotating just like we need in first person. And now by the default we are walking. Next go to your gameplay camera, open it. And open your balanced aim. It's open by default. And let's make it position on zero. Now let's go to sandbox character again. Find setup camera. Set up camera. And drag this stuff directly right here. And we don't need this shit. Okay, compile. Now we have camera as a character. But we need to tweak its position. Alright. Let's do parent socket, head, default position, default rotation. Actually, we need to tweak this rotation to minus 90 and minus 90. Oh no, just 90. Alright, we can move it a bit forward. It, sh it, sh it should be fine. Compile. Now by default we already have first person. Now let's fix other problems and polish it. Alright, first of all let's fix this camera offset when we start moving. Our camera is not like this. And when we run, it's at the wrong position. It should be pointed to our head, but it has some offset. Let's fix this. Go to camera and system box and set this camera jumping factor all camera jumping factor to zero. All of this to zero. Let's check. Now we run, we walk, the camera is on the same position. 
All right. Let's fix this shit. When you are close to something, something happens to our camera. It's weird. Let's take this. Go to camera asset once again. First of all, let's make field of view a bit higher. And go to setup camera in CBP sandbox character. And we'll just remove this shit. Compile. Now, we don't have this problem. We're just clipping through wall, but we'll fix this right now. Go to CBP sandbox character, viewport, click here, add collision. Let's make capsule collision. It should be a parent of capsule component. Capsule. Let's drag it a bit forward. And we should make it. Can character step up on? No. Collision preset. Bone. And we need to select capsule component. We need to make it to work similar to physics by default. And turn it off. Yeah, it's a bit strange, but we need to do it. Go to event begin play. Let's drag this. We don't need this shit. Let's remove it by alt. Drag our capsule component. Simulate. Set simulate physics. It will turn off simulate physics. Now let's test it. Collision work just fine. Now let's think a bit our camera position. A bit forward. Okay, it's fine. It's not ideal, but it's fine. You can bring it wherever you want. Let's move it a bit right here. Now let's fix this problem with rotation. Go to ABP sandbox character, find a root, select get offset root rotation mode, and make it release. Compile. Now it works just fine. But we can still rotate our camera while we're in jump. Let's fix this. Go to CBP sandbox character and select function. Update rotation, press me see, and make it minus one. Compile. Okay, now if we jump and rotate, it's fine. But if we are doing parkour, we still have this issue. We can rotate while we are traversing. To fix this, we'll just block our camera while we're doing this, like in most of the first person games. Go to CBP sandbox director, event graph. Here is our logic for camera input. If we turn it off, we can't move our character camera at all. We can just run around. So we need a logic. We have a variable about traversal. When we are doing traversal action, get. We need to drag it to branch if. So if we are doing traversal action, we shouldn't have this. So, if we are not doing traversal, we can move our camera. So we drag things here. And two, we set it to nothing. Now let's try. I'm moving my camera. I'm jumping. I can't move my camera. Now I can move it again. I'm moving. I can move it. And now I can move it back again. I move it. I can move it. Now I can move it back again. Next, let's fix our crouching. So right now, if we press C, our crouching, we don't need this. Go to camera asset, select the crouch offset, select offset, and uncheck it. Build. Now let's test. Everything works just fine. Let's remove redundant stuff. For example, when we click right mouse button or our wheel button, we'll just remove these inputs right here. Aim input. And swap camera styles. Save, compile. Now, if we use our mouse or right mouse click, nothing changes. And these changes apply to every retargeted character right here. And for example, let's change it to character echo. Because it's a child, it will have the same changes as in CBP character. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to add custom character. I will have two examples. 
metahuman and a simple skeletal mesh. Let's do this. Let's start with the simple skeletal mesh. Open blueprints, right mouse click to ABP, retarget animations, and select your character. Mine is Google. Press export retarget assets and select your folder. I will select folder right here where my character is export. Alright, let's find it. Ghoul, I have it. Let's rename it to RTG, your character name. In my case, it's Ghoul. Alright, let's F2, copy this name, and go to Blueprints. Go to Retargeted Characters, ABP Generic Retarget. Select IK Retargeter Map. Go to IK Retargeter Map. Add new map right here. And find your RTG goal. You will have your character name right here. It should match here and here. Now, let's use any character as a base. For example, this one. Let's copy it. Let's go to viewport. Select your twin plast and change it to your character. In my case, it's... What's going on? It's good. Select it. Alright. Now let's find tag. And rename it to... FTG. Ghoul as before. Let's compile. Close it. And open again. Now we have our character. And if we try to play it. Let's rename it to... CBP. Ghoul. Open your world settings. Change default bone class to your character. In my case, it's CBP Ghoul. Now let's try and play. Eh, and it works just fine. Alright, now let's create it for our meta human. Go to blueprints. Once again, right click ABP, the target animations. Just type in your character name, your meta human name. In my case, it's like this. And you will find your skeletal mesh body. It can be different depending on if your character is tall or short, etc. Select it. Now export the target assets. Select any folder you like. I will choose folder with my metahuman. Export. Now let's save. Go to your metahuman folder where it saved our files. Let's rename it to RTG, for example, metahuman. Yeah, copy this name, go to blueprints once again, retargeted characters, ABP generic retarget, go to IK retargeter map, and add one more map, call it the same, find it, it should match, compile. And in this case, it's better to use this metahuman example, just copy it, copy and paste, let's rename it CBP metahuman, add, open, viewport, Open this body, search tag, and rename it right here to our name, Made Human, as we typed before. Now, let's open our original Made Human. Select our body, find our skeletal mesh, click here, go to our CBP Made Human, and you can change the body skeletal mesh as in the original right here uh, we don't need clothes so you can delete torso legs and feet it will delete these clothes you can leave it if you want but our character my character is naked let's change face as well face find it go to face change skeletal mesh asset don't be afraid, it's not loaded yet. We will reload and it will be just fine. Let's remove our hair and copy our hair from here. Copy and paste right here. Oops, it didn't attach to face, just drag it here. It should be fine, don't look here. Just press compile. Close. Reopen. CPP MetaHuman. And, oops, we need to change our element as well. 
go to original metahuman, select your material, and change it here. Now it works just fine. And if we compile and select our character here, CVP metahuman, try to play, and we will have our metahuman, just like that. Also, I will give you a life hack if you're using metahumans with game animation sample through third person. We can use better camera positioning if we just hide our head. For example, by default, for example, it will be like this. But if we select our face and our hair, select hidden in game and hidden shadow so we can see our shadow despite it's being hidden in game. Compile and let's see the result. We don't see our head. And now let's just do a better positioning. Drag it a little forward. It's already better than having it like this. This way you can leave it like here, for example, and, and see more of your body. Alright. This is definitely better. Alright, little gremlins. I hope you like this tutorial. Thank you. See you later. Bye.